How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is a first look at Never Song. Previously titled Once Upon a Coma, this is coming from Thomas Brush. People might know them from Pinstripe. This is a sequel, a follow-up to the Flash game classic. At this point I would call it a classic. Coma, which came out I think in 2010. I just played that on the channel. That video is live now if you're curious to see that. First, before this, I'm also working on a little bit of like a retrospective of this small series as well as Thomas Brush as a whole as a creator. There'll be a flashlight series on the second channel. I'll include that in the end cards once it's ready. That's just another interesting thing if people want a more expanded look at this game or two, two game series at this point. For Liv. Never Song is a moving story of loss and hope. It contains themes, including traumatic death, that some may find emotionally upsetting. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. Please, ask for help. Once upon a time, there was a boy, an orphan without a single toy. I didn't have His my headphones plugged in. His world was gray until he found a friend one day. It was no normal friend he'd found. She was but the prettiest girl in town. She looks a little bit like Nina from, from Newgrounds. On, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. Piano is part of the original game. To middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. Read music or so read in general? Evening, they there wasn't a parental figure to do to that. Play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. That's and pretty heavy. Shadows, a face of white, snatched poor Wren out of sight. That's was very not creepy at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell. For Pete into a coma fell. Okay, the storybook thing is a little bit played out, but I completely give it a pass because I think the narration and sound design overall there were spot on, that it made it work really, really well. Pete is also the main character of the original game, but I could have sworn it was P-E-T-E. -E. I would have to look back at that. My assumption would be that it's always been spelt this way and I'm just wrong about it, or that like I wasn't very observant the first time around, or it's been changed to be slightly more unique. It's a very bouncy jump animation. And whatever we're seeing in the portrait above the, the fireplace here kind of reminds me of the creature that supposedly snatched Ren away there, or at least what we were seeing in that opening scene. So that kind of creeps me out a bit. S. I, I do want to just look to the side here. Nothing. I'm curious. So it's not a doorway. And I, I'll try to keep that in mind. S. I assume we're going to have to spell something out. The clock is ticking backwards. Which is quite creepy. <laughs> This is much weirder than, like, the first game was weird. This is creepier than the first game. There's, like, little howls and screams in the background. Door just shut in front of us. Check voicemail. Hey, it's me. Was that genuinely it? Sm SMRT? A game by Serenity Forge and Atmos. Atmos being Thomas Brush. Serenity, I think, helped a lot with, like, the physics engine and things. I'm, I'm not entirely sure the relationship. I'll explore that more. Smile. Are we spelling smile? Like, so if I do S-M-I-L-E? It is an asylum, so I guess those could just be the names... Of the different, like, the how they identify the different patients. It's weird that we're in an asylum. <laughs> I don't really know how two kids would end up there. I want to go back up, robot. I can turn it back to red. But I can't, can't actually do anything with it. So that makes me think I can't, 
I can't go back up to the top and like re-interact with the S. Perhaps that's a puzzle I need to revisit. For now. I think I just kind of have to move along. Try to keep it in mind. S, M, I, and E together in one and L. Developed by Eric Coburn. I like the way the credits are being laced throughout. Who do we have a picture of here? Smile. So it was spelling out smile. I just didn't do it right. Dr. Smile. A portrait. The word smile is scratched into the parchment. As well as kind of like a slash across where the mouth presumably would be on that weird, you know, egg-headed <laughs> shape there. I assumed that was going to collapse below me. It seems to be the way I have to go. Okay. Now time is going backwards much more quickly. And we're getting weird, gelatinous, gross, organ-like blobs. Oh god. Also, there's a guy in the window here wielding a knife, which I completely almost didn't see. <laughs> this game is far spookier than the last one. There's another one. One of them inevitably is going to jump out at me, right? There's too many of them. Believe. Believe the what? Or the who? New voicemail. Hey, it's me. No new information there. SM. He's a little bit, he's a little bit off to the side. He's slightly more hidden. Do you know what? I did grab the L first last time. So I probably like canceled it entirely. Oh God. <laughs> what if, what if I come back? Huh. I don't want to re-interact with anything because I, I don't. <laughs> I don't want that thing to come back out, and I don't want to undo what is presumably forward progress. But what if I just got it wrong over and over again? Because would I keep looping with things kind of degenerating further? Or at least, like, spreading like that? Oh. God damn. It's kind of laughing at me. It's a little bit, like, hypnotic. None of that is really anything, but it's the masses of organs that feel quite gross. There's a little bit of a little bit of that in the first game. I kind of like the hint of a connection between the two like that without it being totally a, a commanding domineering thing that requires having played both games to fully uh, appreciate. It just makes for creepy weird imagery either way. <laughs> Oh, we got our piano back. <laughs> I just had to do this, actually. And the song... And I, I, I don't know if this is going to be, like, cheating almost. But the song in the original... It was literally yesterday that I played it. was D-Bab. I just remember using that to remember it. So D-E-B-A-B. -B. So we're looking for a new song here. I'm almost glad that didn't work. Maybe it could have been, like, a cool secret if you did it before actually playing the level. But then, you know, that seems like a second playthrough sort of thing. I'm pretty sure the, it was a very successful Kickstarter, and I'm pretty sure they did unlock, like, a new game plus where your second playthrough, there are things like that to look for. Save the game at the fireplace. And this is a picture of us, right? The Best Friends 1952. Booty Bum Pals. <laughs> That's a great name for, for a little friend duo there, the Booty Bums. But I do not... Oh, I like that you can interact. I didn't mean to break it. I just liked that I could wobble it. But now I kind of want to break them now that I know that it's an option. Your Dusty Mattress. I'm in my own house? I guess that makes sense if there's photos on the wall. Ren's parents are so nice. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage cot any day. Oh, that's really nice of them. No wonder we're such good pals if they're willing to take me in like that. How I ended up here, though, from the asylum? I do not know. <laughs> the Redwind Village. Redwind was totally one of the areas we end up in the, in the first game. But, you know, nothing in that game felt like a real lived-in world the way this does. Keep an eye out for an umbrella so we can float away so we can marry poppins ourselves on that little air current there presumably we're still in our coma though 
and that things are just going to be a little bit less than, like, typical. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm expecting things to be weird and a little bit surreal. There's a pinwheel off to the side there, but it's looking like I'm going to have to come back when I either have the umbrella or something else. Redwind Park is all that it has to say there. I will say loading times are, are a little long, but it's nothing crazy. It's, you know, 15, 10, 10 seconds maybe. And so it's not unbearable. But when you see like the hand drawn detailed art, you can kind of understand. BB, something's written on the door in crayon. The hotel is now the property of the exclusive booty bum gang. <laughs> Okay, so not only are we apparently tagging things and graffitiing them, we're also claiming ownership. It is now called the Booty Bum Clubhouse, and you can suck a big one <laughs> from Punky. So are we? We have another member of the Booty Bang Booty. What's, what's the Booty Bum Gang? It's hard to get out. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. Hey, John. Oh, crap! Not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. Okay, there are such loose ties to the original game. Originally, it was supposed to be a remaking. It became a sequel. But there is John the girl in the first game. <laughs> I don't remember if it was J-O-H-N. So it would be a cool, like, retelling if it has recurring characters and stuff who have been re-envisioned. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Why? Not why do you think exercise will make you feel good? I can buy into that, but why that number? Um, same reason growing my hair out to 1.73 <laughs> meters will make me feel like a god. If I learned anything from like Samson, then yeah, I think that's the way to go. The logic checks out. The longer it is, the more powerful, and eventually you'll cross over into god territory. My therapist asked me the same stupid questions. <laughs> Mind your own business, dude. I so legitimately can I help you? I did not expect there to be any voice acting in this game, and I think it's really charming and cool that there is. Considering you're the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions like that on the down low. How? How is that remotely my fault? I mean, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped, so the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. And so, are all those wife knife wielding maniacs in the asylum our parents, or are they the reason our parents are missing? They haven't been back since. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. I, for one, am about to head out to look for my dad because of you. How long have After they been I missing? Counting, of course. <laughs> After you reach a billion jumping jacks, good luck with that. Locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. I'll be sure to come back when I find a green circle key. Obviously, same thing. So that's, it's going to be a recurring thing. There's a, several different things I'm unable to access until I, until I manage to find that. Ooh, somewhere that's not actually locked. The Red Wind Barber Shop. A message is scribbled on the mirror. I mean, it doesn't really look like letters, but somehow, even though it doesn't look like English letters, it still looks backwards. Does that make sense? C G C G B. Okay, there's no helpful mnemonic for that. I can't just say like D Bab. So I'm writing that down because that's clearly something I'm gonna have to play on the piano. Whether that itself is the Never song, I doubt it. Remember our song, Pete. From Ren. How did this get here? Ooh, okay, we get to catalog things in our songbook. The Red Wind Sonata. Oh, I like the way that they're pulling on like Ocarina of Time stuff here with having a songbook and having it play out like this on the screen. A love song scribbled on the mirror. That's so we have five different songs to collect. I wonder if it brings me back, like if it's a teleportation thing so I can access specific areas more easily. I'm liking this. You're finally awake. My heart is full. <laughs> I was about to adventure out to the Spiderian sewer to look for the grown-ups. Okay, I read Spider-Man sewer. Filled with little butterflies. <laughs> I'm quite grateful that there was voice acting to correct that, because otherwise I would have just thought that's what it was. And then I would have just been so let down. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard him. 
screaming. I'm a little wary of going anywhere where you can hear audible screaming. Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. If you must know, it is my belief that, well... Um... Oh, I don't want to hear him say it out loud. His, his bow tie, his glasses, Preston's clearly a smart kid. I don't want to hear him say it. Dead. Oh, That's brutal, man. Just thinking the dreadful thought. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Epilepsy? Her I'm not sure how long she'll last. To help me, oh, yeah, okay. Her, but I gotta go check out the Spiderian sewer first. Oh my god, dude. I could really use a, a hand here, and what you're suggesting seems very unimportant to me. The jukebox is playing an old tune. The screen says it's called Mama Make Me Happy. We're not going to commit that one to memory. We have no reason to learn that particular song. It's just a fun barbershop jig. But uh, we're, we're leaving that behind. I'm going to climb up top here because there was clearly a, a kid off to the left there that I want to visit. Locked from the inside. You there. You seem like you have a good vantage point. Perhaps you've hey. seen something. Hey, <laughs> Chad. Chad loves him some sports. I didn't think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. How long was I in my coma? One, and two, this is just definitely still the coma, right? <laughs> You'd let me know if it was, right, Chad? You wouldn't hold that information from me? It's been a while since you were awake. You really don't remember what happened? Well, I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, what about her? Apparently, she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you got so scared you went into a coma. That seems like an oversimplification. I I don't think it went down quite like that. Don't it makes worry, me sound terrible. Judging. You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you. I get it. You're gonna say that nobody's judging, but that I'm a complete and utter chicken. Chad. Rin's nickname? We all call her the slug. Well, that's it terrible. Started as a red wind slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. You've forgotten a lot. Okay. You, well, that's at least the source of the nickname is good. Even though the slug is a terrible nickname to have to carry around, especially as you meet new people and they just don't know the context, but at least it had a positive origin. I'm not sure where she hid, though. He's just saying that she hid. It's much more promising than being dead. There's that glowing pot in the window there. So I'm going to try and, like, I don't know, swing across th this. Crap. Now I got to go all the way back around. But there's, there's that little X halfway. Oh, I just noticed that it has one of those little spinny candy cane things that indicates that it's a barber shop. I just didn't notice it right away because it wasn't red as you would expect. I do like the limited color palette. I also want to go visit that like house out on the shore at some point. But it's mostly like reds, oranges more so, yellows and greens, kind of browns. It's an interesting limited palette that I'm not sure why specifically those colors, but I, I like it. And there's a gold padlock on top of there. Presumably at some point, we'll, similar as getting an umbrella or getting that blue key, we'll get some means of interacting with that orange swinging thing. Perhaps if I break enough vases open, we'll find the ability within there. Locked on the inside as well. Oh. Well, we've suddenly <laughs> come to quite the roadblock here, so I guess I'm going to have to sort out one of these other things. Maybe I can talk to Preston again and he can tell me how to get to the Spidarian Caves? Is that what they were? No, I literally can't go back to that branch of the conversation tree. Hey, Pete! What's up? I'm seriously gonna lose count here. <laughs> I got questions You're though. The one who was there, dude. I told you, bud. You fainted, she's gone. Now all the grown-ups are looking for her. More? More info? I mean, do you really want to know what I think? I think at this point I, I could use any help I could get. Any lead you here. She's done for? You're How another... do you not know this? You're like not a great boyfriend. I gotta get back to jumping. Everyone just keeps piling on with Dude, that. You're the one I told well. <sighs> nah, there's there's nothing else. Fine, I'll leave you to it. <sighs> well now I just feel terrible. Can I learn 
Can I learn how to jump off of these things by practicing with this? Just learn to play some fun, like, tetherball or something? Maybe go back in the house? Actually, yeah, I, I need to go back to the piano. I, for whatever reason, didn't think that I had the means to get back to here. I forgot it was in the house and not the asylum. So I can do that, no problem. C, G, C, G, D. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. This little umbrella? No, the slugger. Ren's vintage baseball bat with a cracking leather grip. This thing aches for a good whacking. Oh, that's fun. That'll be much more effective for bashing up random stray pots rather than just running into them twice. This is how we're going to get some real information, some leads here. If anyone's withholding from us and not willing to share any real information, we give them a couple good whacks. <laughs> Are you telling me that that's not... <laughs> that seemed so immediately apparent to me. Well, yeah, of course I can go bash things like that. Maybe I can bash a person or two. Probably not, though. Didn't really expect that. The pumpkins, of course. But, like, it really seemed like that is all just for funsies, bashing your friends and, and neighbors. But that the real reason for having this would be for bashing this thing, right? Come on! Can I, I can kind of pogo. Maybe I gotta uppercut it or pogo it or something in order to, to really make use there is the little x on the rope i tried to hit the ball but maybe i need to hit that instead <laughs> ah, come on even his little hips and haws kind of feel a little bit le like link like you know are we getting the the first real like side scrolling legend of zelda game other than like the busted ass <laughs> cdi versions because that I, I would be very okay with something f filling that niche okay that i feel a little bit bad about that feels like you know some reckless straight up like delinquent level of damage to my town i felt bad but i got over it pretty quickly there we go that's how that's how we're supposed to get through but if there's no adults around I don't think any of these kids are going to rat me out. And if they did, who are they going to report me to? The streetlight police? I doubt that even existed when there were adults around. Hey, it's me, Bird. You woke up. Bird. Bird was totally our, our buddy from the first game who followed us around. I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. You sound upset. Bird actually looks very navvy like It's much more fairy-like. Maybe it is a fairy. And it just has a really, like, confusing name. Yeah. A man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Oh, so Preston was on the case, maybe. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay. Let's get a move on. Wait, use that bat to get me out of this cage. Well, how'd, you, how'd you get locked up in the cage in the first place? Yeah, let's get a move on. We don't want to waste any, waste any time. Presumably, we got to duck down into there, right? Oh, this is probably just a fireplace to say that. Either this is just a fun thing in this town to have outdoor fireplaces or that's like a house that's just falling around, falling apart around us. A heart fizzle. If you collect a hundred of these, you'll get another heart. Wow, that's a, a lot to keep an eye out for. Whoa, I was not prepared for that weird spider pumpkin. But we already have three. So who knows? There might be a lot of those around. Parkour! Gumboisa! This is feeling much more like a... a remake slash massive expansive expansion that it is a sequel i'd be interested well when i finish my video on on the series i'll investigate some of this and try to understand in what way this is more of a sequel than just a remake because like gomboisa is totally from the other game he has some goofy game he likes to play that's called gomsa or something i see you the mighty parkour ninja gomboisa at your service. So I was saying it right. I kind of assumed that was very wrong because it just is a weird name. Yeah, I just saw some guy take her down into the Spiderian sewer. He was just crawling around, dragging her in a cage. Not Cr sure crawling and, and dragging and he thought that was okay and chose not to intervene? I tried to help, honest. But, well, I already told John I'd help him find his dad. So, yeah, I'm busy. I guess I can appreciate that, but maybe you could have done something? Pass that message along? Allow someone else to pick it up from there? 
Um, yeah. Ren taught me how to get on these egg things. Uh, <laughs> she just never taught me how to get down. Still trying to work that out. Really, dude? Yep. Ren was a parkour legend, dude. She made me these sexy magnetic gloves that really helped me grip these eggs. I call them Gomboisa grips. So, Ren handed them to you, and you immediately named them after yourself? You literally pulled one of those, like, I made this, and then you take it, and I made this? Uncool, dude. Although, I will admit that the alliteration goes a long way. She could have called them the Ren Wranglers or something, though. You're just going to steal that away? Terrible. I'm never sharing any invention or skills of mine with Gumboisa ever. She might have another pair somewhere in her house. Anyways, okay. Once I figure out how to get down, John and I are heading to the cemetery. I wonder if I should go straight back to her house, or if that's something I should look for later. Meet us there if you want to help find his dad. Alright, that'll, that'll be a later thing, after we deal with the caves. Especially with the supposed rush that's being put on all this, I feel like no one's treating it as urgently as we are. They're all aware it's urgent, yet they're not doing anything about it. Look, it's a coma card. These things are all the rage in Redwind. There's a ton of them hiding all over the place. Be sure to collect and equip to change your outfit. So I, I can just choose to dress up as Gomboisa now if I wanted to? Equipped to wear a headband. Gomboisa is the kid that thinks he's cool because parkour. <laughs> he's nice though, so who cares? Yeah, he's a little bit behind the times. And he does have a stylish headband, which I think will, you know, keep the sweat out of our eyes while we're bashing things with our sweet sluggers. So, you know, maybe he's got a few things right. Hey, puke face! Get over here and help me! I'm stuck! Well, I don't really want to help you, Simeone. Isn't it You're gonna call puke? us puke face? I have hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. <laughs> like another carryover. It's weird, because it's still, it's a thing on its own here, but it's like a nice way to tie things back to the other game. He might have, Simeon might have even been the same name. What can I do to help? Give me my sewing needle, puke fart. My mom gave it to me for emergency poppage for just such occasions. Puke fart might be the worst insult I've ever heard. Like, not that it's the most hurtful, but probably the most gross and least well thought out. Makes me not want to help at all. Not sure why he thinks that it would. Those little turds! The spiders! Snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree! That's gross, man. I don't want to deal stupid? with that. Ever since your precious little Ren went missing, things have gotten strange. Probably because I'm still in a coma. That would be my first guess. So hurry up! If you don't get me my sewing needle fast, the spiders are going to bite my face off! I don't plan to put too big of a rush on this, uh, this request. <laughs> I feel like he'll figure it out. He'll be fine on his own, right? If it's not, if the spider's not in the first tree that I encounter immediately next to, next to him there, then, you know, who knows? They could have gotten off to anywhere, really. They could be a million miles away. And so I don't, I don't really see any particularly strong need to deal with that just right this moment. This is really fun, and it made, made me want to see if I could get that going, like, higher and higher. That seemed to be the limit. It's a little bit, a little bit fun, but I was really hoping I could launch myself straight up to, like, a treetop or something. Perhaps we'll come back to it later. Okay, good, good. Things are dropping health. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned about that. The... Art and environments here are just incredible. Wait, check it out in the tree. Is that Simeon's sewing needle? Ah, uh, no, nah, I'm not interested. He can he can help himself. <laughs> All right. Well, if we don't do anything about it, then it seems like we're really writing this poor guy off. Bird, Wait, I guess. Check it out. It's within reach tree. for you. You might Simeon's as well go grab it. Needle? Oh, you're just gonna hang on to it. All right. If you feel comfortable looking after it. His favorite spot. Yeah. I assume I could just plummet myself straight down to the bottom. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. Well, that's fine. I guess we'll talk to this happy-looking fellow. Punky. That's me, Punky. Oh, he was the guy who signed the on the BB Clubhouse. Simeon said I should go and find him some help, but I'm too busy dancing. Do you like my dance moves? You know what? Truly, I do. It's my birthday. I'm so proud of myself for turning another age. I'm finally old enough to start learning how to math, 
and how to science. I turned another age in like two weeks, and I think I could take a lesson or two from this guy. He looks like he really knows how to cut loose and celebrate. Nah, wanna hear the real reason I'm dancing? No, not anymore. No, you kind of ruined it for me. You can you can just keep doing your thing. I think I'm gonna get a tattoo for my birthday. Wait. So it is actually your birthday? On my butt. On your butt? Yeah, where? Oh, not what? I'm gonna get no, what, not where? My butt. On my butt. That is cool. I like it. It's ironic. It's creative. <laughs> I don't know. I support this. Have you ever thought of punching a kitty? No. All right, I, I, I was starting to grow a curiosity of where... Okay, if it's that easy to get back up, you can poke around a little bit more. <laughs> but I was thinking, you know what, maybe I am a little bit curious why he's dancing, and I will follow up with another question on that. But then it took a turn, and I think I've chosen to just leave that guy be. I, I don't need to know more about him or his life or what he does with his time. And in fact... In comparison, it made Simeon, or maybe it's a Simon, not seem quite so bad. So I think we could we could come back and help him out with his inflation oh, disorder. Give it to me, but butt face. And we've come right back around to me not really wanting to help. Oh, pop me! It hurts so bad, but you have to pop me. Could you not moan the request at me? Three, two, one. Don't count it down. Quit making it so oh, weird. No. <laughs> At least Bird looked like he shoved it right up his butt. That's That was the right call. That made it feel a lot better from my side. If he's going to be so weird about it, we might as well take it that extra step further and make him maybe question his life choices and not be such a weirdo the next time around. <laughs> I understand that the game immediately probably wants me to jump down that hole after him. But that's something we can do next time. The game is out May 20th. You guys can go check that out for yourself. I'll have a link down below to either go wishlist it or, or purchase yourself a copy. It's also coming out on the Nintendo Switch. That was one of the uh, stretch goals. I'm pretty interested. It's a very, very well-made game. Like, crazy polished, good art interesting story. I like that there's voice acting and everything. I'm very curious to see more. You guys will have to let me know what you think so far. And I'm very interested to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.